If you follow my channel, you know I've reviewed my share of mobile workstations, whether it be the Lenovo ThinkPad P53, the Lenovo ThinkPad P1, or even the Dell Precision 5540. And they all brought something very good and unique to the table. But I think I might have found one of the best out there right now. So when HP hit me up to check out their all new HP ZBook 15 G6, I quickly jumped on it. And boy, am I glad I did. It packs a Xeon processor, it packs a Quadro T3000 GPU, it's got plenty of RAM, plenty of storage options, it's highly upgradable, and this thing is a powerhouse. And let's not forget, it has a 15.6 inch dream color display. It's absolutely gorgeous. Hey everybody, it's Andrew, and this is my unboxing and review of the all new HP ZBook 15 G6, coming up. Today's video is brought to you by U2Key.com. Find out later in this video how you can save 15% off Microsoft Office and Windows 10 professional OEM keys. Want to see more videos like this? Why not hit that subscribe button and make sure you hit that notification bell. This way you'll be alerted every time I post a new video. And don't forget to follow me on my social media, especially Twitter and Instagram. That's where I post all the latest updates. And in the interest of transparency and full disclosure, I'm not being paid by HP. I'm not being sponsored by HP. All the opinions you're about to hear are my own and no one is seeing this video before its release. The review unit is on loan from HP and once this review is done I am sending it back to HP. Pricing starts at $1,989 US, but if you deck it out, it can get quite expensive. My review unit comes in at $4,689.88. Yeah, this is definitely not cheap, but this is not geared towards the average consumer. This is geared toward mobile professionals. And with specs and pricing out of the way, let's find out what you get inside the box. Let's open it up. Now inside the box is a 150 watt power adapter. It uses a barrel pin connector. You also get some documentation, warranty information, and a setup guide. Now they also give you a hard drive enclosure. We'll talk about that later in this video. And of course the unit itself, holding it for the first time, feels very premium, very high end. And at this price point, you'd expect that. The HP ZBook 15 G6 underwent 21 military standard tests and over 120,000 hours of testing, making this extremely durable and rugged to endure the rigors of everyday use. And at 2.6 kilograms or 5.79 pounds, this is definitely portable enough for a mobile workstation, that's for sure. Okay, let's check out the port selections. We'll start off on the left side where you find a Kensington lock port, an RJ45 Ethernet port, two USB-A 3.1 Gen 1 ports, and an SD card reader. The SD card sit flush with the device. I like that. Moving over to the right side is a smart card reader, a 3.5 millimeter headset jack, a USB-A 3.1 Gen 2, an HDMI port. It's HDMI 2.0B, two Thunderbolt 3 ports, and finally, your power port. And I have to say, excellent port selection. And it has HP's excellent dream color display. What we're looking at here is a 15.6 inch anti-glare dream color display with a resolution of 3840 by 2160, a UHD resolution. Now this is the non-touch variant and it covers the color gamut really well. You're looking at 100% sRGB, 87% Adobe RGB, 96% of the DCI P3 wide color gamut and 85% of NTSC. What this translates into is an excellent choice for those content creators that do Lightroom, Photoshop, and of course, video editing. The HP ZBook 15 G6 has a built-in color calibrator and the sensor is located within the touchpad. Now, if you're a content creator, this is great because this allows you to calibrate the display to your liking. You're gonna love it. HP claims this display will get up to 600 nits in terms of brightness. I measured 523 nits, which is excellent. It has really deep blacks, excellent contrast, excellent viewing angles, and it's an anti-glare display. That means you don't get any unnecessary reflections or glare. You gotta love it. And yes, for those wondering, there is an option for the HP Shoreview Privacy Display, and that's gonna give you even more privacy and security for those that need it. I like that option. Now it doesn't have the slimmest of bezels, but keep in mind, this is a mobile workstation. This is geared toward those professionals that need the horsepower. Looks are gonna come secondary. Although they're not terrible, these definitely have bezels, you will notice. 
Now it does have an infrared camera located on the top bezel with a shutter switch that allows you to turn off the webcam for more privacy and security. You gotta love that. And it uses face recognition to log you in via Windows Hello. It worked excellent. So this is the front facing camera on the HP ZBook 15 G6. And I gotta tell you, very nice camera, 1080p, 30 frames per second. Infrared camera, meaning it's a Windows Hello compatible camera so you can log in with face recognition it works really well 4k display on this really good mobile workstation very impressed so far as far as expandability user upgradability i'm really liking it but i'm curious to know what you think let me know in the comment section below and there's a fingerprint scanner located below the numeric keypad on the right side just below the keyboard and it worked well registering my finger pretty much every time i used it great for windows hello login in addition to the infrared camera now I know a lot of you are gonna need Microsoft Office and I know you're gonna need Windows 10 Pro keys. Check out today's sponsor. Today's video is brought to you by U2Key.com. Your one-stop shop for Windows 10 professional OEM keys, Microsoft Office keys, Steam CD keys, mini games, and so much more. And right now you can save 15% off if you use the discount code AUK15. That's a pretty good deal. So head on over to U2Key.com to get those special savings. And I want to thank U2Key for sponsoring today's video. Now when it comes to the keyboard, I actually really like it. Good tactile feedback, good key travel, and it's really spaced out nicely, giving you very good comfort for extended periods of time. It also has a multi-stage backlight that allows you to get work done in a dark room or a dimly lit environment. You know, that's always good. Now the keyboard's pretty interesting in that it has dedicated keys for Skype and video conferencing software that'll be excellent, especially for those that are working from home at this current time. So I like the fact that this offers dedicated keys for those functions. And pair that with the excellent webcam that this has, that's a killer combination. It also has a precision touchpad. Now this precision touchpad has uh, physical mouse buttons as well as being very responsive. It's two finger scrolling, is buttery smooth. This is an excellent implementation of this touchpad. And it has the dual point stick. Now this is pretty much the equivalent of the ThinkPad track point, which you know I love. This is no exception as well. It was very responsive, worked well for scrolling and doing everything you need to navigate through the OS. Now you can get the ZBook 15 G6 with a number of different processors, but I actually have the Intel Xeon E2286M with V Pro. It also has the NVIDIA Quadro RTX 3000 GPU. What this translates into is really great power. Now, as far as the handbrake video transcoding test that I did, it did really well when you compare it to some of its competition, such as the Dell Precision 5540. As you can see here, it did better in this regard. And when I did my Premiere Pro video rendering test where I did a five minute render of an H.264 4K video, it did four minutes and 33 seconds, besting the MacBook Pro 15 from 2019 and the Dell Precision 5540. This is pretty impressive. And for those looking to game on this, I found that the sweet spot would be medium settings at 1080p, getting excellent frame rates for Fortnite, GTA 5, Overwatch, Far Cry 5, and Shadow of the Tomb Raider, just to give you an example for just some of the gaming you can do with this GPU. And when it comes to thermals, I thought it did well. When you push it under heavy load, it didn't get too uncomfortable or overly hot, especially when you're gaming on it with Witcher 3, as you see on the bottom, it did pretty well. And I love the fact that this is VR ready, especially if you decide to go with HP's VR backpack. Now, when it comes to battery life, this is a pretty interesting proposition. Now, it has a 90 watt hour lithium ion battery, but the kicker here is that it is a replaceable battery that user can access. And that is something that I think more manufacturers should start doing. It's a, almost a throwback in a sense to the old days where you can get replaceable batteries. Having said that, it did six hours and eight minutes on my continuous web surfing test, which isn't the best in the category, but the fact that you can swap it out makes it even better because now you can get multiple batteries and they're not not too expensive either so you can get a few of them at a time and when you do need to plug in they do supply you with a 150 watt barrel pin connector adapter and it took two hours and 12 minutes to give you a full charge not too bad for this size battery and for a mobile workstation this has a pretty compact and portable power adapter you gotta like that and I absolutely love the fact that you can get inside this laptop without the need of any tools to upgrade memory, to upgrade storage. I wish all OEMs followed suit in this manner. 
Now my review unit has 64 gigabytes of ECC DDR4 RAM, but you can get it up to 128 gigabytes of RAM, which is accessible to the user, which I absolutely love. You could also configure this up to six terabytes of total storage. That includes both SSD and the optional hard disk drive space that this does have. And it includes an enclosure for you to use if you go that route. And the SSD that it does include has some of the best reads and writes I've seen in a very long time. It is excellent. Now my review unit has 64 gigabytes of DDR4 RAM, but for those that need it, you can configure this up to 128 gigabytes of RAM, and that's pretty good. And as you can see, there's a space for the optional LTE modem. As you can see, the antenna leads are already there. The V Pro version has the 802.11ac dual band wireless with Bluetooth 4.2, but if you get the non V Pro version, you get Intel AX200 802.11ac dual band wireless with Bluetooth 5.0. The HP ZBook 15 G6 has Bang & Olufsen audio, and I gotta say, it sounds pretty good, especially for a mobile workstation. It surprised me, actually. It actually sounds pretty good in terms of filling up the room rather nicely. It has some bass, it has some really good mids, and when you're at full volume, there's no distortion. I think they did a really good job when it comes to the speakers. So to wrap it all up, can I recommend the HP ZBook 15 G6? And the answer is a resounding yes. If you're in the market for a mobile workstation, this should be your ticket. I like its excellent 4K dream color display with a color calibrator, its powerful performance out of that robust 8-core Xeon CPU, the VR Ready NVIDIA Quadro RTX 3000 graphics. I like the fact that it gets good thermals, excellent array of ports, the military standard rating that it underwent, and it's an upgrader's dream with toolless entry. That to me is fantastic. I also like the fact that you can replace the 90 watt hour battery, carry some spares around for limitless battery life potentially. But of course, this also comes at a very hefty price tag, especially if you deck it out like my review unit. But there are no real deal breakers here. This is an excellent mobile workstation. And so I'm going to give this a score of 94%, making the HP ZBook G6 my editor's choice for the mobile workstation here for early 2020, making it worth your money. So what do you think about this bad boy, the HP ZBook 15 G6? I absolutely love it. It's a mobile workhorse, and I gotta say, HP hit a home run here. Love that gorgeous 15.6 inch Dream Color UHD display with a built-in color calibrator. I absolutely love it. I love the fact that this has all the RAM options, all the storage options, whether it be an SSD, whether it be a spinning hard drive or a combination thereof. I like the toolless entry to allow you to get inside this to upgrade it. It's highly upgradable, and I absolutely love that. Now, I love the fact that this has a 90 watt hour battery, but that's not the kicker. The kicker is it's a removable battery. You can buy spare batteries, making this a potential battery beast. Yeah, it's expensive, but it's not geared towards the average consumer. It's geared to those professionals, such as architects, medical imaging people. Uh, it's gonna be good for video editors. It's gonna be for those that need a professional machine to take with them on the go. And this certainly fits the bill. But I'm curious to know what you think. Let me know in the comment section below. So please hit the like button, please subscribe, please share this video. Don't forget to leave a comment in that comment section below. Let me know how I'm doing. Let me know if there's a device or something out there you think I should review. I'll do my best to try to make that happen. Don't forget to check me out on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and of course my website, amdtechreviews.com. So until next time, this is Andrew from AMD Tech. See ya. which is a clone almost in a sense of the Dell XPS 15 on the inside, blah, 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 blah. And I love the fact that it has removable bat. Ugh.